we're so hard on ourselves as a human race, right? And we get, it's probably also one of the number one issues on the planet today, right? It's mm. just, we've got to cut ourselves some slack, give ourselves a break and have a bit more self-acceptance, <laughs> self-love, self-worth and self-compassion, whatever word you want to say, right? Mm. We just got to stop being so freaking hard on ourselves and accept ourselves unconditionally, right? This is my long life. This is what I've got, right? Now, what can I do with that? Once you accept yourself for who you are, then the exciting things becomes, what do I do with that? Yep. You know, I fall down. Okay, I've fallen down. Now, what do I do with that? So there's only ever the response to, you know, the situations of our life. So I'm living through the pandemic, right? But if once you realize your greatest growth comes from your darkest times, because it unlocks this beautiful humility and, and curiosity to go, right, I, what do I do now, right? How can I get over this? Who can help me, right? You start to turn these negatives into po possibilities, if you like, and the dopamine that you get with that pattern recognition and asking yourself questions eliminates the cortisol from, shit, what's happening to the world with a pandemic? Mm. And you can override that with some of these techniques. But whoever thought that self-compassion and acceptance would be, you know, superpowers to overcome yeah. pandemics, right? <laughs> God, I feel yeah. like I just, I wanted to grab all that and make it my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep missing calls. So I like, every time my phone rings, I'll just hear all that. <laughs> yeah, hard to leave a message after that. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is.